So I just wanted to put out a quick video uh, updating my status on the sling build. Uh, I've been delayed a little bit because I've had some parts that have been back ordered um, that are still not here. And so a lot of those parts are keeping me from making the progress I'd like to make. I have started on the uh, sealing of the fuel tanks and I have a separate video coming out for all of that, all the steps that I went through on that. Uh, right now you can see I'm, I'm hooked up for pressure testing, but you'll see more about that in a separate video. So here's what I've done so far. The static ports have been installed. You saw the video on that. Uh, the static lines are now run and I've run this static line up to my Adahars, which I've mounted at the top of the uh, luggage extension. This idea or concept comes from the RV guys. You'll see that some of the RV guys mount their Adahars at the top of their luggage compartment. So uh, I've gone through this with my panel builder and they've confirmed that this will be a good location. So what I've also done here is created an access door that allow me to get into there and access that from time to time if needed. Um, before I leave the tail cone section here, this uh, cover here will be where I will mount my a, uh, a ADS-B antenna. Uh, let's go on up here. You can see I've mounted the ELT in that bay. I have installed this uh, autopilot servo for pitch. And what's really nice is that these Dynon servos fit the same bracket mounts uh, for Garmin. The Sling makes most of their stuff for Garmin to, to mate up with Garmin components. And when I installed these brackets, it, it indicated those were for Garmin. And I kind of wondered, was that going to work? And it does. This thing matches up perfectly. So I was really happy with that. I've got a um, roll servo mounted in there. That's also a Garmin bracket that it mates up to perfectly. Um, I finally received my flap torque tube, but I haven't gotten to that yet because I have pieces that are missing on the control sticks, uh, control stick assemblies, and I'm waiting for those pieces to come in. So I can't finish much. I, I still need a uh, push rod for my elevator. I still need the push rods for the ailerons, which I don't have any of that. Those things are supposed to be in the finishing kit, which when I ordered my kit, I ordered the full package, all the, all the parts to come at once, uh, which includes the canopy and a lot of the interior parts. And I still don't have that that kit and that was back in December 15th when I took delivery and now it's April the 22nd and so I'm still waiting on my finishing kit so that's slowing me down as well uh, I did install the heater assembly here and I'm working on uh, installing the rest of the ducting for that what I'm going to do is also some of the other guys have done instead of running the heat duct through that channel to the back where the passengers are because that that panel absorbs a lot of the heat when you're up at altitude and by the time it gets to the passengers it's not hot a lot of guys are running that through the center here and bringing it out uh through here so i'll be doing something similar to that as well so that's why i've not fully completed that um what else uh this is where the the coolant lines penetrate the firewall. Okay, now let's talk about a big screw up on my part. And I'm a little embarrassed, but at full disclosure, I'm not hiding anything. If you look back here at this, uh, this is the gear box, main gear box at the mount. The uh, oh, one other thing before I go to that, I did install my antennas. I have two uh, bent whip antennas. This is also based on the uh, van's configuration. Uh, confirm that also with the panel builder. There shouldn't be, you know, there won't be any interference. There are a lot of RV10s and so forth that have those antennas mounted in that configuration. My goal is I don't want any antennas on top, nothing on the top of my airplane. 
uh, GPS antenna will go on the front of the firewall on an L bracket up here. That's where the puck for the GPS will go. And then finally, I didn't mention this, uh, this area here is where my transponder antenna will go. So uh, going back here to my issue that I have, this is the channel or box that the gear legs spring gear will be installed so from the top looking in you see there's an upright here and then there's an upright here and you get the same thing on the other side see that little tab right there and see that tab right there those are in the wrong place that tab's supposed to be up there so I have to switch these. I have to drill both these uprights out on both sides. So I've got four uprights that I'm gonna to have to drill out and just swap them. This, this upright will go over here and this upright will go over there and they'll be swapped. And um, yep, it's a big job. Um, you know, I could cheat because this, what that, what that tab is for is for the seat rail so you know i could cheat and i could just cut that off and fabricate something up here but i don't think my conscience can live with that um this thing has to be done right so it's not a big deal it's just a it's just going to be a mess uh with a lot of chips and aluminum shavings and stuff after i do the drilling um i'll be able to do that probably in about a day i did order some uh, extra flush mount rivets, countersunk rivets. These, there's four of these guys. Um, I'll be drilling those out, and I don't have spares of those. Those are 12, those are four millimeter by 12 millimeter long. And uh, so I have to drill those out. But, uh, you know, I, I just don't want to do, I just don't want to build this airplane and BS anybody about it. I did make a mistake. And so, look, you got to own it, and I'm going to own this one take care of the problem. Uh, I'm not going to half-ass it and try to fab my way through something that's really not supposed to be that way. So there it is.
All right, I did it. Uh, all four uprights have been drilled out and replaced. That tab is now facing forward for the uh, seat rail. Uh, everything's been riveted back in. Skins are lined up. So that's a done deal.